this data question, I will tell you something which uh, they have not <laughs> they have not disclosed. But I have friends in the Central Statistical Organization, and I, uh, my father was in fact the founder of the Central Statistical Organization <laughs> in 1950. Uh, and uh, what I found is, and what I suspected, is that every year, when they make the national accounts for the year, hmm. they rely on a sample survey for MSMEs and small industries, for Kirana shops, uh, and so on, service sector. So, so on the basis of the national sample survey data for the year, they give an estimate of the net income generated by this sector. Yes. Now, in this 29 point, um, uh, 23 point, um, uh, minus 23.9% or whatever, they have not included the MSMEs and the uh, yes. small industries, none of it, because they don't have data. Data was not collected. And they are the worst affected. Yes. Who so, are the streets of the road? Uh, uh, <laughs> these are the migrant workers. Where do they work? They work in MSMEs and small industries and uh, shops and uh, restaurant, you know, roadside restaurants and so on. So if that had been done, in my opinion, it would have not been uh, 20, minus 23.9 percent, but it would have been th minus 35 percent. Yes. So this is a best case scenario. Absolutely. And by just excluding the biggest drop that is taken. Mm -hmm. And that will continue because there is no policy. And so second point I would like to draw your attention to is they do have uh, what they call is a stimulus package of minus uh, of 20 uh, to 21 point something trillion rupees. Correct. Uh, Lacros. 20 lacros. 20 plus uh, I added that it was about 21. Yes. <clears throat> now. What is the ailment in India? I want to know whether you agree with me. The economic ailment is that we have a major demand factor problem. Yes. This is a reason because of the stupidity of our tax system, which particularly during deadly period was going haywire. The tax terror that was let loose by going and raiding people left, right, and center. And uh, the the effect of demonetization, where it was un, wholly unprepared, all this created a demand shortage. So if you went to an automobile uh, sh sh uh, showroom, you will find cars standing unsold. So of this 21 uh, uh, trillion rupees, I found only one mine, uh, 1.2 trillion only for demand. Everything else is credit arrangement, loan, thing, non-payment, this thing. These are all what they call as the financial bookkeeping methods. So it's not even a, unlike in America where Trump is, say, I mean, Ramesh is here, he might uh, confirm it, that everybody who was in a, was uh, filing a certain amount of income tax and income tax return, that amount, was directly deposited into their account. Yes. Not only that, Dr. Swami, they are now talking about the second round for the same thing because even continued uh, with the crisis that we are facing, we are even talking about another round yes. of incentives directly to the uh, to the taxpayers. That's right. Here is not like that. Mm. Here, uh, you know, uh, because there is no proposal, it's all uh, hidden there, you know. Um, uh, of green shoots. I mean, I've been looking for green shoots. Uh, the only thing I've been seeing is brown shoots, but so far, no. <laughs> the painting, <laughs> the classical painting. Finally, they said they, uh, the God is responsible. <laughs> uh, one, uh, uh, one anchor in the new, new uh, TV studio asked me, What do you say? I said, God in, in our Sanskrit language is Swami. I hope they are not thinking. <laughs> And blaming me, you see, <laughs> because I'm so critical. The fact is that 
we are turning it around this so called v business i don't know which part of v we are just now in it yes. is going down yes. and then if you turn up you can't return to the same point which you wanted to have years ago yes you have to get ahead and otherwise the growth rates uh, for the 5 years would be ridiculous mm -hmm.